Hello everybody, it's Dana Sullivan, the Stampin' Chick, here with another Make It Monday! <laughs> How are you today, my friends? I hope you had a wonderful weekend. The weather is definitely warming up. In fact, it was blazing hot here in East Tennessee today. But it is a nice, beautiful, sunny day, so I'm not complaining. I have a super pretty and uh, fun project to share with you today. And the reason why it's so fun, in my opinion, is because it's a sneak peek for brand new product. <laughs> I'm using a new stamp and die bundle and some beautiful new embellishments as well as a gorgeous uh, new embossing folder too and I can't wait to share them with you so let's go ahead and uh, make sure that I'm in the right place oh I see Miss Sharon is here I see some folks popped in thank you all so much for coming in uh, if you would please say hello and uh, I'd love for you to hear my live on your wall it lets me get seen by other people and of course sharing is caring and being able to share the love of paper crafts with your friends is oh so much fun. Alright guys, today's project is going to be used. There we go. I'm not sure what happened just there. That was a little weird. Uh... All right, I see some thumbs up and some folks are in here and hopefully uh, whatever just happened won't happen again because that was super weird. Anyway, uh, we're using the Cup of Tea Stamp and Die Bundle. This is from the brand new up and coming 2022. And uh, as you can see, it has a couple of different designs for teacups. We have a cute uh, tea bag or tag and then a lovely little citrus slice as well as some sprigs and flowers and some absolutely gorgeous sentiments. Tea bag, uh, this would be the tea bag and then this would be the little tag, right? So um, these really teeny tiny sentiments are meant to go on those little unbelievable right and, and then the citrus slice has a die here uh, for the little outline of citrus and then the background as well and uh, you've got some dies that go with the little sprig and the flower cluster here and we're gonna see if I uh, if I keep pausing um, if someone could comment and let me know um, I'm going to see if, uh, if it looks that way on my computer. I may go out and come back in because it really shouldn't be happening. I mean, it's a fairly clear day here today. So uh, let me just get on my computer here and see. So if you're here and you're hearing me okay, can you comment and let me know if... Um, if the video is freezing up or if you can still see and hear me okay. Hi Shirley, how are you? Um, I'm gonna try to get <clears throat> I'm gonna try to get my computer up here and um, it looks like I don't know on my end it looks like uh, it's fine but I keep getting a notification um, that looks like we're having technical difficulties. So if, uh, oh, Shirley says video and sound are good. Okay, perfect. All right, then I'm not really sure why I'm getting that notification. Um, <clears throat> oh, Sharon says I'm freezing up. Okay. Uh, all right, then I'm not really sure why it's doing that. Like I said, um, you know, the weather is nice out today, so I, I don't really know that I understand. Don't really know that I understand why it would be freezing up, but um, let me get over here and see if I can bring it up on my computer. I'm just getting over to the Stampin' Chick page and seeing if I can find the live. And maybe I can get a better assessment of what is going on. 
at least this time I have sufficient battery on my on my phone so there's that <laughs> okay so Rebecca hi how are you you're you say I'm freezing up as well and uh, Elaine Hicks it's 82 degrees in North Carolina today uh, super hot about that same here as well uh, thank you for sharing my video I appreciate it okay um, Miss Kathy Dukes how's it going darling uh, looks like um, looks like I'm back online at least at least for now so uh, let me just keep that open and I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully uh, hopefully everything's okay all right all right so uh, cup of tea brand new stamp and die bundle from the new annual catalog this is actually part of an entire suite of products um, what's it called I can't even show you which is unfortunate but um, let's see I know it's near the front here and uh, it's a super pretty collection it has designer series paper and uh, here it is tea boutique that's what it is and I truly wish I could show you but uh, effective May 3rd the catalog will be live and then I'll be able to show everything um, but for now all I can show you is the cover which I've already shown you before um, but if you've missed it I can show it to you again it's absolutely gorgeous and there's uh, some really beautiful uh, sneak peeks on the catalog cover so I can show you that but uh, this is part of the tea boutique collection and uh, it has the stamp and die bundle and it has um, the designer series paper and some in color coordinated um, cards and envelopes which are so pretty and um, the brand new in colors are absolutely gorgeous they're bright and bold and just not at all like the in colors that I'm working with tonight <laughs> so I am working with the uh, 2021 to 2023 in colors so these ones will be around for one more year and then they will retire as well um, the last set just retired that's the one that had Misty Moonlight and Bumblebee which I am so sad about uh, I also had um, let's see cinnamon cider just jade and magenta madness and um, I really liked magenta madness too but um, but misty moonlight and bumblebee I'm I'm really feeling that one I'm so sad about that <laughs> so anyway we do have this collection of in colors which are gorgeous soft colors and then the brand new ones are just really bold and beautiful so I absolutely love them but I wanted to share some love with our carrying over in colors for tonight so I have uh, a white card base this is a thick white card and as you can see I have a layer of soft succulent cardstock and then this embossing folder which I'm hoping that you can see the texture there it's called fern and it has little fern sprigs all over it and it's just absolutely stunning and then of course you can see all of the uh, detail for those teacups now that I have it brought up closer and look at that super cute little tag just adorable hi miss Luann how's it going darling uh, miss Shirley says she likes the new colors but not together <laughs> yeah they're they're bright and I don't know that they necessarily all go together and usually the in colors don't necessarily um, it's not it's not a prerequisite for a group of in colors as it happens though the 21 to 23 ones go together pretty nicely I think um, but yeah the new ones are really bright and really in your face so you know they're gonna be fantastic but um, totally different than these ones <laughs> oh Luann loves the teacup bundle that's awesome okay so I have got um, all of my supplies here let me grab that out I have 
a thick basic white card base. This is your standard eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And uh, of course I'm not keeping it on the screen as such so that it doesn't make my camera zoom in and out. This piece of soft succulent cardstock measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So you'll see um, that it fits just perfectly on the front and leaves just a tiny little border around. And then um, that fern embossed paper, just stinking gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so this is what I would consider the positive side and this is what I would consider the negative side and both sides are just stunning. I mean, both sides are stunning. You can definitely tell the difference which is which, um, but you could certainly use either one depending on what you chose. As a matter of fact, maybe, um, maybe we'll turn this one on the negative side just so that you can see, okay? And then I have a piece of ribbon that measures five, uh, five and a quarter inches. This is going to wrap around that um, embossed layer. And then I have a piece of cardstock. This one measures uh, six and a half by two and a half. This is what I'm using to stamp and die cut my teacups. And then I've misplaced a little piece. Maybe it's still stuck in the envelope. Okay, and then I have uh, two layering circles, and these are the uh, second smallest of the layering circles. I have the basic white and then the um, soft succulent. Let me see. There it is. And then I have a little piece that I've already die cut and stamped for the little tag, and that's done with Fresh Freesia ink. Okay? So we'll start out by grabbing our stamp and pierce mat because we're using photopolymer stamps. I want to take my, <clears throat> my teacups here and let me just scooch this stuff out of the way. All right, so I did uh, polished pink and pale papaya with the striped and then I did soft succulent and fresh freesia with the uh, greenery and then I used evening evergreen for the sentiment because I really wanted to put all five of the colors on my paper there so that's why I've done that all right let me get this going I'm gonna turn it this way stamp nice close them up as soon as I stamp so that I don't make a mess. Okay. Polished pink. Okay. Now I need to clean my stamps right quick because I'm using different colors. So let me just squeege, squeege right quick. All right, now the soft succulent. Okay, and then pale papaya. There we go. All right. Oh, surely you really like the polished pink. I do too. I really do too. It's kind of like, I, I consider it Barbie doll pink. Like it's just the perfect shade. All right. Now, of course, through the magic of television, voila, I've already got them die cut for us, but, uh, you can see the dies that has the, uh, um, teacup right here. Now this one is, um, the floral print. So what you could do is this as one color and this is another color and then layer them on top of each other like that so that you have a uh, two-tone cup which would be super pretty as well. All right now then I have my cups done. Let me grab my pierce mat 
and the white circle. Now I'm going to take my evening evergreen and let's get together soon. Tap, tap, tap. And we're going to put this right in the middle best we can. Looks pretty good. Okay, now since I've got this out, I might as well just do all of the stamping. So on the inside of the card, I stamped that polished pink with the uh, greenery. So let me get my stamp here, and I should have stamped the polished pink last. I wouldn't have had to clean it, but that's okay. All right, now then I need my card base. Just keep my hand over it here so it doesn't focus in and out. Okay, tap, tap, tap. And we're going to stamp it right here near the bottom center. Not center, but the center fold. <laughs> okay, and then soft succulent. and the cluster and this will line up right at the top of it so I'm making sure that I can see the stems actually touching the cup and then I know it's good okay and so that's the inside let me set that over there and then for the envelope I used the uh, fresh freesia and the same sprigs so let me grab the envelope and my teacup here let me set that out of the way so I don't get it on me all right tap 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 and cup and the sprigs here we go and again I'm just making sure that I can see the tip of my stems touching the cup and then I know it's lined up nicely all right okay so I believe that's all of our stamping let me move that out of the way and I'll get my card pieces back together over here all right first things first I'm going to layer the soft succulent cardstock directly onto the card front. Okay. Uh, Miss Tracy. <laughs> Tracy says she didn't like the set at first, but she really likes it now. And of course, she had to send in a second pre order so she could get it. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? It is. An unfortunate, fortunate fact. <laughs> Stampin' Up's products are just so amazing, and that, my friends, is why we spend all our money on the beautiful products, because they're just gorgeous. All right, now, I'm going to leave this up to you, but I think this looks really good with the negative. So do you think we should do the negative side on this one so that we can compare the two to each other? What do you think? That side? Or keep it on the positive side? I really think that either one will be just fine. I don't think you can lose either way. Yeah, let's do the negative side. All right, Shirley says yes, so we're going for it. All right, now, when I'm wrapping ribbon around my cardstock. I'm putting a little bit of adhesive and just touching it down and then bringing it across. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that it's pulled snug and it's straight. There we go. Beautiful. Give it a nice firm press and then I'm going to run adhesive over the top of it too so that when it's attached to the base 
uh, the cardstock will sandwich it together and keep it nice and tight, okay, because we don't want the ribbon to pull out. Now notice when I'm running the adhesive on the back of this paper, I'm being very slow and careful with this um, uh, Stampin' Seal Plus because it's very strong adhesive and I don't want it to peel up my embossed layers and it certainly will so if you go really fast across this where it's um, embossed it might pull some of the embossing off so just be really calm and quiet with it and nice and easy and uh, you won't have any struggles okay all right now I'm gonna press it down and notice I put a considerable amount of the um, adhesive on here it's because with these uh, 3d embossed bits we really want to make sure um, that they stay tacked down to the card base really nicely okay all right now then I have a little scrap of white twine that I'm actually going to use for that and uh, let's see here Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it on this so I think I'll do that okay all right grab my white circle and attach it to my soft succulent layer here okay that's nice and then for the dimensional of this one I want this thing to straddle my ribbon okay because if you put this on top of the ribbon it's gonna be kinda wonky so I'm gonna cut this in half and I wanna put my finger across here so I know where the middle is I want this one up here and I want this one down here that way it straddles the ribbon just like so and it'll sit nice and snug okay all right, then I'm going to take my little tag here, run a little bit of adhesive right down the middle of it, and I'm just going to attach that ribbon or that twine right to the middle of the back side, okay? And then I'm going to take a single dimensional here and put it right over the top so that that holds it in, all right? And now I'm going to take this one. Well, I'll put these on first and then I'll show you. All right. So let me, let me get this situated here. Okay. So what you want to do first is make sure that you have everything lined up how you want it to look. Okay. So it's best to do this when it's not attached. And that's why I left the backing on my dimensionals here because I'm still working with everything. I know that I want my first teacup to sit flat so it's going to sit like that and then I'm going to put this one at an angle just inside like that I want this one to sit just like so let me bring this up a little see this is why we don't attach it yet so we can finagle how we need to Okay, there we go. And then this one is going to go right here. All right, so we're just going to adjust this until we get it how we like it. And that looks pretty good. Okay, how's that? Good. All right, and then once we have this already laid out, then we can just take one at a time and add our adhesive to the back side and just like that okay and it's gonna always for whatever reason at least it is with me it's always just slightly off from what I normally or what I have set out so it's so weird how that works but okay now I'm gonna press this down on the bottom but I'm not pressing it down on the top because I still need to add this piece in 
All right, so I'm gonna keep moving. Okay, that ribbon is kind of playing in the way here. There we go. All right, and then this one I want to go straight, okay, because it's kind of holding the pile of cups, right? I want to do that, and then I'm just going to make sure that it's approximately as far from the bottom as it is the top. Approximate doesn't have to be exact, okay? All right, now what I want to do is I want to tuck this piece in until it grabs that adhesive and then give it a good press. Remove the backing from the tag and then touch it down just like that, okay? All right, now that we have this on, we can go ahead and pull the backing from our sentiment piece and put it right there. Is that straight? Looks pretty darn straight to me. Okay, that's beautiful, isn't it? All right, now I have to show you these because these are absolutely amazing. They're beautiful, okay? When I say beautiful, I mean they are beautiful. These are the 21 to 23 colors, um, but they're in opal rounds in the new catalog. And uh, let's see if we can get it to pick them up. I think they're absolutely stunning. Aren't they beautiful? I mean, gorgeous. Absolutely love them. All right, we're going to use one of each of the sizes right here. Um, oh, Miss Elaine says it's frozen. So weird. I didn't even see it frozen on my computer screen, which is so weird. Okay. I hope that it's picked back up again. I think it has. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take one of the big ones and one of the little ones and just put them right there. And then that does it, right? Isn't that beautiful? And then we have our envelope. So nice. And notice that I didn't put anything here um, because I thought that the images were pretty big. So I didn't worry about it, and I thought with the big image on the front, it really didn't matter. Um, however, if you're worried about it, uh, certainly you could put this leaf, or you could put this little sprig detail right here that kind of mimics a part of these. Um, that would be nice, or these two little things here. So um, I guess this is one stamp right here. So you could put this right across there, and that would be really nice. You know, you can do anything you want to, um, but I think it's okay now and then not to put something on the flap as long as the thing on the front is, is reasonably sized, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, there it is. I, uh, I really like this collection. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to share the catalog with you and show you all the beautiful things that are in it. Um, if you are not a demonstrator and don't already have a demonstrator, I would be happy to send you one of the brand new catalogs. And, uh, you know, if you um, find things that you love in there, of course you will. You can get the starter kit and you get $125 worth of product for only 99 bucks and you get free shipping. So here in Tennessee where, uh, you know, well actually shipping is 11%. Um, so, you know, and tax here in Tennessee is almost 10%. So saving that money from shipping is huge, right? Um, so anyway, plus you get a paper pumpkin kit included for free in the starter kit. So it's an amazing deal. And, uh, you know, you can get a fabulous discount on every single purchase after that. It's just wonderful. So if you'd like to sign up or you'd like more information, send me a message. I'd love to have you on my team. 
and uh, you know that it's not a pressured thing you can just sign up for a discount and uh, enjoy a fabulous discount on products you're gonna pay retail for anyways if you don't so you know that's one way to look at it right it's a discount club so to speak <laughs> All right, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed today's card. It is so pretty. Um, I am actually going to get off here and finish getting ready for my Stampin' Bingo this weekend. I cannot wait. I am so excited. I love Stampin' Bingo. It's so much fun. So if you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up or a heart if you really liked it and share the video. Um, hopefully it comes through okay on Facebook and I really appreciate everybody taking the time to be with me here this evening. Y'all are just amazing. Thank you so much. You guys are the reason why I come in here and do this. It's just so much fun to hang out with y'all. So anyway... Until next time, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Bye for now.